Children's Hospital Los Angeles is the uh, oldest children's hospital in the Western United States, and it's the only freestanding academic children's hospital that serves a population of almost three million uh, children in the greater Los Angeles area. Um, we have about 100,000 patients that we see uh, annually here at this location every year. It's a fantastic place for children and their families to receive cutting-edge care and uh, life-saving treatments that just aren't available at other institutions. The Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at Children's Hospital Los Angeles is a comprehensive department that includes both anatomic pathology, laboratory medicine, and research. We provide a full range of diagnostic and prognostic tests uh, and support a very large uh, clinical cancer program in pediatric oncology as well as a full spectrum of pediatric specialty and subspecialty areas. One of the most exciting things about the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine is our Center for Personalized Medicine. We're very excited about the impact of personalized medicine and its ability to transform what we do in healthcare. And it's a time when pathologists need to begin thinking about how we change our approach to delivering value in healthcare systems so that we can offer tools to diagnose diseases before they occur and help guide therapies to treat diseases before they cause damage. One of the uh, important uh, case studies for us in personalized medicine is developing a personalized medicine-based test for retinoblastoma. Uh, Dr. Trish uh, in our department is working closely with Tom Lee uh, at the Vision Center and with a larger research team in ocular oncology to try and design a test that is more sensitive um, and more comprehensive in its coverage uh, for patients who have retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is a particularly dangerous form of blindness, and the reason it's dangerous is that it can not just cause blindness, but it can also cause death. Uh, retinoblastoma affects babies, oftentimes at birth, and in these children they form tumors inside their eye in a structure called the retina. Personalized medicine in this situation helps with identifying people who are predisposed to other forms of tumors. Um, they might be identify a patient might be identified with a single eye tumor, and genetics and genomics help identify those who might be at risk for a tumor in the other eye or those who are at risk of passing it on to the next generation. Because retinoblastoma can arise from a genetic mutation, and we actually know the gene that's responsible, it's called the retinoblastoma gene, we know exactly where to look if we're concerned that a patient may actually have this disease. By doing genetic testing through high throughput sequencing, the ability to look and scan all 27 components of this gene in a short order of time helps us both diagnose as well as manage the disease at its earliest possible stage. Uh, at Children's Hospital Los Angeles we see a large population of patients who have diabetes and we partnered with Dr. Stephen Middleman uh, in endocrinology who's an expert in pediatric diabetes and obesity research to try and develop a personalized medicine approach to characterizing uh, children with new onset diabetes and understanding better some of the early changes that are happening in those children uh, so that he and his team can diagnose them more quickly and recognize the development of diabetes in children at risk uh, more effectively than is currently possible. With this center, we'll be able to get important genetic information as well as information about the proteins and metabolites in the body, which can help us determine which children are at risk for developing diabetes and hopefully intervene before the disease develops. This new approach has the potential to provide a cure for monogenic and type 1 diabetes. The information we glean will be shared with the scientific community in hospitals all over the country and the world, leading to improvements in treatment everywhere. In the long term, we think that Children's Hospital Los Angeles is a place where transformational investment should be made in pediatric health care because of the diversity of the pediatric population we serve, because of the number of children who we can potentially reach. And ultimately, I would like to see uh, much larger investments so that we're able to really bring transformational change in how we approach pediatric health care and delivery in the 21st century. I think we're on the verge of a revolution in medicine. The amount of information we're going to have at our fingertips is unprecedented and leads to innumerable opportunities to cure and prevent diseases. Children are our future, and it's an investment in ourselves. 
And if we want to know information that changes how we deliver healthcare, what better time or place is there than to invest in children at the beginning of their lives and to invest in institutions like children's hospitals that are devoted to caring for those children to create hope and to build healthier futures for them and for our society as a whole.